So at this stage, it's still Richardson, Slater, and now Becky Owen in third place. Helen Galashian of Scotland. Helen coming in with the second lowest qualifying score of 8-6. But an 8-6 today would put her in third position. Scotland finishing sixth in the team event. Which is a good result because they only had three gymnasts and that's the minimum for a team. So they did well to beat to Northern Ireland and Trinidad Tobago had, who had the full five. That meant that all three gymnasts had to perform on all four apparatus. Galashian, another good dismount. We're six out of six with the dismounts. It won't trouble uh, Kate Richardson. So Galashian, what can she get? Something over eight would put her in the top four. Better than 8.325 would put her in third with two competitors to come. And a two and a half twist. Kate Richardson is looking good for another gold medal, I must say. Galashian, eight, five, eight, seven. She is in third. And now to represent Australia, Jackie Dunn. Jackie Dunn with uh, a mount onto the beam that she's made her own. It's named after her. Hope she gets it. Right now, Jackie Dunn just has an outside chance on her start value of catching Kate Richardson, but must do everything precisely and get full value for it. One of the few gymnasts uh, at this competition to work under the beam like that. There was a wobble there, but might just be a 0.05 deduction. But, oh, couldn't afford that. She takes a long while to get set for this dismount. Jackie Dunn, well, that may be good enough to threaten Kate Richardson, but the mood the judges are in today, it's difficult to be optimistic about her chances. Alana Slater lets her know she's done well, and she did. There was barely a problem here, but just sensing that the judges are feeling a bit miserly today. From Adelaide, but trains in Canberra at the Australian Institute of Sport. Australian team finished seventh at the World Championships last year and Jackie was in that squad. And there's the double back in the tuck position for the Score is there for Jackie Dunn. 
8.912. Gee, they are tough today. She's only in third. So she sits behind Richardson and Slater. I don't think her position is, uh, is unreal. I just think uh, the judges are in a quite different frame of mind to what we saw in the all-around. Danielle Hicks of Canada. Good start. Danielle is from the Gemini Gymnastics Club in Ontario, a place called Oshawa. Danielle didn't compete a lot in uh, 1999 and 2000. She had some health problems. Eight point seven two five a qualifying score. <laughs> Looking to join Kate Richardson amongst the medals for Canada. The medal count between Australia, England and Canada is very even. Each with three gold. Danielle Hicks. Now, does she have the complexity and the start value to uh, knock on the door of gold and maybe push out Slater or Dunn from silver and bronze? Leave that question to the judges, but uh, what Danielle did give us was another good beam routine. Side leap. It was a good one. Landed it well. It's a skill that's troubled a number of the gymnasts. So Hicks. The score comes in. 8.762. Fourth position just misses a medal. But it's still gold to Canada. And it goes to Kate Richardson. The two Canadians embrace their first and fourth. And Australia's second and third. And Becky Owen pushed down to sixth place behind Helen Galashin of Scotland. So another gold medal for Kate Richardson. That's two for her. I wonder what they're chatting about. They won't be unhappy. Alana Slater was not favourite to win the beam. And we've just heard that there is a protest over Jackie Dunn's score of 8.912. We'll see how quickly that's resolved and who it favours. Sometimes coaches feel that uh, the judges have not given correct value to certain elements. That seems to be the case now. So we'll wait for confirmation. So the result is now confirmed for the women's beam. Kate Richardson does get the gold at 9.2. Alana Slater, 9.137 for silver. Bronze to Jackie.